had a couple of good good times on uh, Twitter last night. <laughs> I was just fucking around. Good times. Pretty late. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. A lot, of course, my retweeting of um, various uh, teens that decided they were playing the knockout game with a 70-year-old man, put him in critical condition. And, Wait, what happened? I uh, fucking... Did savages. the Post call them savages like they no. did the little the little teenagers that raided the upstate New York place no, and had a party? Didn't. No. Of course not. No, they didn't. <laughs> but they'll... they'll I, 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 was, I was tweeting the fact that, like, they'll blame a game, like GTA, for murder... But then they call murder a game, the knockout game. They they don't address it as it's fucking murder. They're murdering people. So yeah, this poor seventy year old guy is coming out of Seven Eleven and where, just where? gets attacked and blindsided. Where was it? Where was this? Uh, Syracuse. Syracuse. Is he dead? Good old Syracuse. No, he's in critical condition. But a fifty year old guy, fifty one year old guy, they were playing the knockout game. Oh, sounds like fun. Where the object is to walk up to somebody and with one punch knock him yeah. out, blindside him, and they punch this guy. He fucking cracked his head on the ground. He never woke up. That was it. And it's you know, oh teens, oh they're just playing a game. Yeah, just punching people in the face. It's, a game. it's called fucking assault. Oh, they're just unarmed teens. Yeah, okay. So, so I was going off on that last night a little so bit. So my kid has a chance to eventually play the knockout game. Uh, no. Sure. No, he has a chance of being a victim of the knockout game, but to play it, what's the apparently difference? Apparently, you have to be young, mm -hmm. uh, male usually, but females usually join in after the guys on the ground with the kicking and stomping part of it. And uh, oh, right, black, you have to be a black person, Why? black people. I don't know because they seem to really be the majority, the vast uh, majority, Doesn't the they're... statistical equivalent of a hundred percent. Uh, of everyone doing this uh, but, game. But, but aren't they uh, playing catch in the backyard with their daddies, too? No, because their Throwing family the structure around? dictates that 75% of them do not have fathers. They are from broken homes. But that seems to be fine. Instead of talking about how bad that is and how it's affecting uh, society, you just accept it and say it's an alternative lifestyle. It's okay to have one incompetent mommy. And ditch the kid off with the grandparents. and Oh, God, there's no hope. There's no hope left. Uh, let's say hi to Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy Spoken in ah. New Jersey. Jeremy. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hello. Hey, buddy. Jeremy. Yeah, so recently in the news, I'm from Hoboken. Um, this home was Ooh, I'm dying! Got... <laughs> 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 Apparently, he got... Uh, Pretty old got guy knows that. Mm-hmm. He got killed the other day from uh, two teens in Jersey City that were playing the knockout game. Ah. See? Yeah. It's just, uh, and what happens? They just crack him in the head. He falls down, and it's all funny. There's yeah, no apparently. concept How it of right and wrong. And I get into arguments all the time on Twitter about this, and, and, and people love to blame it on poverty. They go, no, it's poverty. And so it's like, there are poor people all over the world. And, and and what you're saying is that if you're impoverished, you lose your your concept of right from wrong and 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 uh, the the appreciation of another human life. You just that goes out the window. You all of a sudden have no concept of that anymore because that's what these people are doing. And there are um, uh, areas of uh, different races of of impoverished people that do not act like this. It seems to be that it is very very prominent in the black community to um, perpetrate unbelievable acts of, of random violence that you just don't see in other communities. You'll see violence and stuff, but uh, like the randomness of it, of the uh, black on other race races uh, violence is the scariest part because then you're, you're susceptible to it. If you're not fucking somebody else's wife or you're not robbing somebody else's house or something, the odds that, someone's going to fuck with you are pretty slim but that randomness that that you you know you're a 70 year old guy leaving a 7-eleven you get blindsided in the head for no fucking reason that's the part that is is very hard to understand yeah. and to blame it on other things i'm sorry you're you're saying then you're in essence saying that the black community is incapable of of reason and incapable of right from wrong and knowing that there's a value to human life. Is that what the excuse is? Because uh, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. That's what I was doing last night. And uh, tweeting kitten pictures. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's... People love the contrast no of kidding. my... No um, that's a little strange. It, it comes off looking a tad psychotic, well. I must say. <laughs> <laughs> little Beavis. Oh, he was so upset when I got home last night because I was away all weekend. So I opened the door and I just hear... From upstairs, I'm like, oh, no. I opened the door. He couldn't get enough of me. He, oh, yeah. Cr crawling up my leg. It's adorable. He, and, was ch he was pouncing at my face. And, oh, just the cutest biting my hand. <laughs> That's going to be horrific in another year. When it's literally a tiger <laughs> pouncing on me through the door. You know how you say that maybe people aren't being raised right in the community? I hear you. You're doing the exact same thing in the, in the pet world. Yeah, yeah. You are yeah. raising. I'm raising a scourge of society. You are raising a, yes. uh, a tiger, basically. Yes. At 12.50 <laughs> this morning last night, yeah. all I could hear was... Oh, no. Scratches at the door. Scratches at the door. Uh-oh. Let him in. It Who was, was it? It was Bruiser Brody. It my was Bruiser cat. Brody. Uh, well, let him in. Then we won't be sleeping. Why? Uh, because he just He'll find a spot on the bed and no, he'll be cool. Because oh, no. he just headbutts and paws you. Yeah. For what reason? Because he wants attention. Because oh. you're another horrible parent. He doesn't understand how Two you can be laying down. in this fucking room. I was playing, uh, playing fetch with a pen <laughs> with uh, Lil Beavis last night. I was laying in bed and, uh, and I would take the pen and throw it on the floor and he would chase it, gets it, brings it back up on the bed, drops it right in front of me. I got a little fetching kitten. He's adorable. <laughs> Let me uh, say how to pee. Another video if he would do these cute things when I actually hit record. He knows to stop being cute when I hit record, the little fucker. <laughs> well, cause, I know. only got limited time. He's getting big. Uh, uh, Pete in South Carolina. Pete. Pete. Yeah, yeah good morning. What's up? Little fucker. <laughs> well, cause, I know. only got limited time. He's getting big. Uh, uh, Pete in South Carolina. Pete. Pete. Yeah, yeah good morning. What's happening? What's up, Pete? I got a comment, man. I, I've been listening to y'all radio show probably for the past couple of months. Ooh. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I dig the show, but, man, shit is so racial all the time. These kids who knock the dude out, it's not the whole fucking black race with four black people. It's a couple of dumbass kids. It doesn't have to be so fucking racial all the time. I have the issue you know, sometimes listening to y'all because of the shit that comes all the time. But it is always black, young black guys that are playing the knockout game. It's Listen, every I, single time. I, 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 I am a black guy, and I grew up around other black kids, and nobody ever did this shit. I'm not saying all black people are doing this, but I'm saying everyone that's doing it, the majority are black people. But I, you're, yeah, people why do people mix that up all the time? I'm not saying all black people do this. I'm saying this is done by all black people. It's a difference. There's a difference there. But uh, I'm not persecuting an entire people. But I think what Pete's saying is, hold on, Pete. Pete, Pete, I'll, I'll make your point. But I think what Pete's saying is that overwhelmingly, uh, most kids aren't doing this. Most black kids aren't Of course doing not. This. It would be an insane. It would be like a zombie attack if they were. But I don't get on Twitter like, look, all fucking mass murders and serial killers are white people. Because I'm they're not, not but okay. No, they're not, but, but you look at the, the numbers, it's generally, you know, Older white of people. course it is. Statistically, it is uh, uh, white people profile. So I could I could then profile and say that this knockout game shit is predominantly young black men. But here's, here's the deal. I've never heard of this shit, man. Oh, Have yeah? you heard of this before? Well, watch the news. Go on YouTube. Uh, punch it up. It's 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 kept out of the media for the most part. I'm it's saying, uh. I, I really dig the show. I think but I think what he's saying is he lives closer, uh, uh, you know, to the black people, and yeah. he doesn't see this uh, around yeah. him whatsoever. No, I'm not people. People mix he's that up all the time. To the, to the left, man. I mean, like Jimmy always jumps at it like he's a ballot. but you know, it's always like it goes too fucking far, man. It's hard yeah, to yeah. The the truth does go too far. People hate when I fucking spout out actual no, FBI no, statistics no, and and talk about things. There's a huge problem with violence in the young black male community. Sorry, that's what it is. It's a problem. No amount of reverence dialogue or hiding it under the carpet is going to fucking fix it. It has to be addressed. It has to. People have to be shamed. People have to be shamed and look at their problems and say, why are they doing doing this? It's a goddamn disgrace. Who the fuck is doing it? I never grew up with this shit. Well, you're a, like, you're a lucky man. You're a lucky man. You must live next door to me. I'm telling you, no, it's not true. I went to predominantly white college, man. Well, exactly. There you go. That's why. No, 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 no. I said college, bro, but I grew up around black people my whole life. I still have black friends. This shit never fucking happened. I never heard of this shit. 
Can I tell you the Good. first time I heard of the knockout game? It was uh, I was reading something about I forget the, what's the guy's name. Who's there's a guy who started the Crips. He's in jail now. I forget his name. Um, he's, he's Tukey? Tukey or so. He begins, there's a T. He's yeah. a big dude. Yeah. And yeah, uh, they said that this is probably in the 60s or the 70s. Yeah. That, that, that in the neighborhood that he was in, they would play the knockout game where you would have to walk up and just see. I don't know if they called it that, but you would have to see if you could uh -huh. knock somebody out with one punch. I, I, I just want to tear this fucking off, man. Just really, I think it's a small segment, but because it's, you know, it's, it's put out there in the press, people think it's a large segment. Mm. Of the but it's really not. It's a small segment. We think they're fucking idiots, too. So it's not just, you know, there's a huge problem in the black community. A couple of dumbasses are doing it. You put your ass in jail. But you know, don't, don't paint everybody with the same stroke, man. I don't think putting I don't think putting people in jail is the answer either. It, it, it's amazing to me that people go, well, he was arrested, so it's okay. No, the, the the trick is to not have it perpetrated on people in the first fucking place. I, I've heard that enough times. Why are you asking for justice for this guy? They arrested the perpetrator. Yeah, big fucking deal. How about you figure out the problem and fix it? Look at Chicago. They're talking about bringing the National Guard. They're talking about bringing the National fucking Guard into Chicago because the police force can't even handle the amount of fucking drug and gang-related shootings and violence that's going on in Chicago. Bro, idiots are going to be idiots. Idiots are going to be idiots, but when 10% of the population amounts to fucking over 50% of the idiots, there's a problem. Look, look, you you could keep being issue. blinded. Yeah, don't you're address it. Issue. No, no, no. I, I, I'm addressing what you said. You're talking about a, a small segment of the population, but in this particular incident, but you can't continue to say it's always a black issue, it's a black problem. It's a fucking dumbass problem. The, the knockout game is predominantly done by young black males. Period. I'm not saying that young black males are all doing it. No, I'm not. I'm saying that. Do you understand? It's so hard to make people understand the simplest concept. I'm not saying that the majority of young black males are doing the knockout game. I'm saying of the people that do the knockout game, the majority are young black males. Do you understand what I just said? Okay, so I might tell, I'm not saying that because there's all white males in that room. One of you guys is going to eventually fucking flip out and shoot everybody as serious. Come on, man, it's bullshit. You could probably say that about any radio no, show on this platform. No, but you can say that if somebody does in, go into a workplace and shoot it up, it will probably be a white middle-aged man. But you can't say that most white middle-aged men go to their workplace and shoot it up. See the difference? Holy fuckaroni! Bro, I I'm gonna tell you, listen, man. Let's be fair. That's of course you will. But I, I will say too, if I, if I had to be scared of someone, if I saw a black guy walking through this hallway, a young black guy in camouflage, right, or a forty-five-year-old white guy with a mustache and an army hat, I'd be much more worried <laughs> about the forty-five-year-old white guy and the mustache in and the this, army hat in this setting. Yeah, because sure. he. I because know, statistics you're, 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 show yes. <laughs> that it, you have more of a chance of being blown away by that. But if Here. I'm out on the street right. in a shitty neighborhood and uh, I see a couple of uh, uh, black guys across the street, I, I'll fucking stay on the other side of the street as I walk by. Now, they could be fucking road scholars. I don't know. But statistically, I'm going to play the odds and not have any interaction with them. You know what one of, one of the problems is, and, and, and this caller is kind of addressing it too, it's the fact that the press avoids certain things and they avoid certain truths. And they just, they don't say it or they tiptoe. So right. when you say something bluntly, it sounds really offensive or it yes. sounds racist. But like no one's offended if you say that you know, most people who fucking shoot up the workplace are white. They are. Most yeah. guys, most school shootings as far as random acts of, I, I hate my mom and dad right. violence. Young are white, white kids. guys. Sure. At, without a doubt. Yep. Whenever I hear about a school shooting, like where there's a bunch of kids killed, yeah. I've never once thought, oh God, that's a black kid. If it's one guy shot in the parking lot, eh, maybe that's a black kid. But if it's fucking 30 people massacred, you almost always know it's a white kid. So so nobody's you, stepping up and saying, hey, we need, we need the problem. Don't ignore the problem. Because, no, no, no. but like, yeah, yeah, you know why? Because could you imagine a young white guy going into a school or a workplace or something and killing uh, or shooting uh, uh, between 15 and 20 people every weekend? Could you imagine the fucking outrage? That's what's happening in Chicago alone. Add in Atlanta, New York City, Detroit, you're going to get a fuckload more that happens every week in this country. If white, young white guys were shooting up schools at that rate, we'd be under martial fucking law. Bro, I, I, here's the deal. If that's going on, I, I'm all for it, man. It is going on. I, I don't want anybody getting shot, what color, what race. If there's a problem, address it. But if you don't address it, well, I, I'm addressing it, but you don't want to hear it. 
If there's a problem, address it. There's a problem in the black community with young black men and violence. There's a problem. There. I addressed it. Now you'll tell me to shut up and that because that's how it works in this country. We address it. We need an open dialogue. We need to do this. All right, let me say it. Ah, you racist. Fuck that. What a bunch of hypocritical fuckwads we are. You want to feel sorry for yourself, but here's the deal, man. It doesn't no. happen Do like that. It, it, there's a segment, but it doesn't happen like that. I, I'm not around people getting shot up every day. Thank God for that. Bro. You aren't either. I know. Either. But I'm in, but I work, like that. but I work in New York City. And I take precautions. I take precautions when I walk around New York City to stay in in uh, better areas. When I'm in a, an iffy area, I'm much more alert to my surroundings, and I will profile people based on statistics and and keep myself safe in that way. Bro, I'm okay with that, but my thing All is, right. your, listen, your listeners are predominantly white, probably right. When you oh. say shit like you say, when you say things like you say. Sometimes you kind of fuel a lot of shit that goes on, and I'm saying I'm not fueling anything. No, man, I'm, I'm saying you, you're you're intelligent enough to understand it. No, I'm, I'm not. not. I hear the thing. It's a mob <laughs> man mentality that you create. Some mob time. mentality. You mean like when uh, the knockout game is being played, and then five or eight more guys jump in and kick and fucking punch the guy that's on the ground? Yeah, like, like that mob mentality. The call, what's the caller's name? I'm sorry. What's your name? I'm, my, my name is Seaton. The shit out. It's a crazy. I don't like it either. Pete, you know, I, 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 you, you fall into a trap though that people fall into. I can walk go. Like, uh, <laughs> like saying, like, hey, and if you say that or whatever it is, a person says you're, you're creating this mm. mentality. Like you understand it, but other people might not. Like that's 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 an arrogance that like the press has about themselves, or, yeah. or people like, well, I understand it, but the average guy won't. And it's like I never look at it like that. Like I never think that if I get it, but the the people listening to us won't get it. Like I just give them the same credit. It's true, and the thing is, when I listen to you guys, it's, it's always to do, he always comes out and like, you know, just a black thing. And, you know, it makes it hard for me to kind of fuck with y'all. I, I like listening to it. Some of the shit is all based, you know, the colors, and I, but, you know, the shit is funny. But but when you always kind of fuel that, the, the fire, like, you know, that racism shit, man. Jim and Opie you know, counterbalance my fucking shit very well. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's a very balanced what, it's, what, what, what happened? program. What? what? <laughs> I heard my you, name. Yeah, because because I'm trying to be as honest as I can possibly be, and I know a lot of times it's opinion, but a lot of times it's fact based. And and when when I'm told that we need an open, honest dialogue, and then you try to have one, and you're fucking labeled with racist or or uh, no. it, it, yeah, let's have an open dialogue as as long as uh, the, what you're saying doesn't offend me. Now no, we're just no, back no, to square no, no, one. No. No, no, you can say what you want to say, man, but that doesn't mean the shit is true. I mean, we can still say, man. No, some of the shit I am saying is absolutely true. When I back it up with facts, with facts, no. it is okay. true. Well, that's going on in your neighborhood or your area. No, it's yeah. not going on in my neighborhood. Why the fuck would I live in a neighborhood riddled with crime? Here's what I'm saying. I'm talking about the area that you're concerned with. You talk about Chicago and these other areas, but I'm, what I'm telling you it is... It affects me financially. It affects me as far as how I can exercise my Second Amendment, so it does affect me. Me too, and I'm a black dude, but what I'm telling you is, just don't say it like, oh, this is a black problem. It's not a black problem. Uh, <sighs> I'm not going to say it again. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, it does. It's not the largest segment of, of, of the department. I understand. I think I've addressed that already. All right, hold on. Ho Many times. Hold on one minute. I got to go to Bernard in the Bronx. The Bronx. Uh, Bernard, you're on with Pete in South Carolina. Yo, Pete, what's up, man? Um, what you call it? This stuff, though, is this is old. When I was younger, we used to, they used to come up to you and they'd be like, "Yo, you like Hawaiian punch?" And if you say yeah, you get punched right in the face. Like <laughs> 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 uh, four times, and so I figured out, oh, well, don't say yes to Hawaiian punch. And there you that go. That used man. to be the commercial. The little guy I would know, say, "How about a nice Hawaiian punch and punch him?" And then they, <laughs> then they changed the campaign to where Iraq comes through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> But there you go, Bernard, a nice white guy living in the Bronx. See? R right, see? Right, Bernard? Oh, white guy? <laughs> <laughs> the old slow lob. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting only for six months when the summer is here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bernard, thank all you. Right. All right. See, it's all fun. Thanks. Everyone's just having fun growing up, doing Very their thing, fun. finding Pete, their way. Pete, I hope you continue to listen and, uh, you know, get upset with what I'm saying is fine and stuff, but... Uh, you know, 
I, I, I'm not going to change uh, the way I, I talk about race and violence uh, issues in All this right. country. I'm just not going to do it. All right. We got. Thank you for the call, Pete. Pete, thank you. Call anytime. Yeah. Help us. I like that. Help us, please. Help us. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Pete. I at, like least it. You, at least you get to sit in the car and enjoy traffic. <laughs> right. I have to sit next to Peter Finch and network. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we take such long breaks. It gets way worse when we turn these microphones off. You know what it's like to have we, to walk to the bathroom with somebody following you, yelling FBI statistics right, out of the hallway? Right. We feel way safer as long as these mics are on. Oh, my God. If we, if we didn't have to piss, we'd, we'd keep these microphones on for four hours. <laughs>